back to Maple Farm and episode 5 and today we're going to be harvesting the potatoes it is September it's very early in the morning and we are up at the store because we need to lease the potato harvester and um, they have asked that this time we pick the stuff up ourselves so we're going to lease a low loader to get the stuff moved because it's pretty slow and I'm going for the Joskin Wago loader which is only 400 pounds to lease which is not too bad Used just loads in FS19, it's a really cool trailer, and then, no surprises, we are going for the KS6B root crop harvester. And really cheap to lease, only £1,300, and I'm going to lease both headers because we're going to have potato, uh, sugar beets to harvest next month. Um, so we'll get both while we're up at the store, they're not excessively expensive to lease, only £255 per header. So, saves us a trip, particularly as we would have to bring the harvester back up as well to load them onto the trailer so yeah seems like a sensible idea to get both and maybe we can use them to pick up a contractor as well um, so i think i did say in the last video i am going to be doing contracts on here in fact the next video is a contract um, and that's because i have spent probably about a day half a day um, between half a day and a day setting up a custom set of contracting equipment of the right sort of era it's not all perfect because some stuff doesn't exist um, but we have uh, class dominate harvesters um, this guy is in for the root crops um, I'm using the old fear the uh, the case traction king for plowing contracts um, Model Aisha's Fiat 1300 for some of the mowing contracts and uh, it's pretty cool actually, it works pretty well. Um, got a mixture of base game and modded tractors in there and I'll show that off a bit next time. Um, but if folks are interested in that I could maybe upload the, the XML file. I'm not a fan of low releasing edits to people's mods but i think releasing that single xml file would be fine um there's a mod list that goes with it obviously because it uses a lot of mods and i give no guarantees about how well it works i spotted yesterday i had missed out one type of job but i think i've got most covered so yeah um and you'll see that as we go through the series as i start doing contracts now if realism fans just look away for a moment okay because this trailer was not quite big enough so um these headers really don't have many collisions on them and that kind of allows you to do this it's fine it's absolutely fine um yeah there's, there's some kind of trans-dimensional thing going on they, they are one they are one so Let's get this all down to the yard and harvest us some potatoes. The yield on here is going to be okay. Um, obviously potatoes are a high yielding crop anyway, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. As usual, I seem to get a little bit of stutter in the playback, which is kind of weird. Um, I've swapped video players and this seems to be running a bit better it does still seem to be stuttering a little bit which is really strange um, not sure why no reason that we should be struggling to replay a fairly low res video I may have to make it even lower res I guess but this point I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members appreciate your support folks I'm kicking off the patron series again this week hopefully I'll talk a bit about that later and also want to say thank you to Casa for the generous gift of a copy of Pumps and Hoses. Really appreciate that. Um, really looking forward to that DLC. We had um, the Fact Sheet Friday, which we will talk about after a little bit of a time lapse.
make it round the headland before we had to empty. It's not really surprised with this harvester. Only holds 10,000 litres and I say potatoes and sugar beets both yield a lot, so to be expected really. And just trying to avoid destroying too much crop as we edge the field along the side of the field. We are losing a little bit. Not the end of the world. We're going to get quite a lot off of it anyway. So yeah, we had some factory Fridays for pumps and hoses. I've not looked at all of them in detail. And the bits that I have looked at that stood out to me stood out to me. The length of the hoses. Um, I think one of the pumping units comes with a kilometre long hose. And then the extension hoses are 500 metres to 1,000 metres or a kilometre. If you think that your average map, I believe, is 2 kilometres by 2 kilometres. So, you know, three hoses you get to cover most of the map, depending on how it works with collisions and stuff. So I think hoses is not going to be too much of a problem, which is cool. Um, and I think that's realistic. I think um, Cow Farmer Dan that I watch is a Gloucester, UK Gloucester based dairy farmer. They use uh, um, umbilical for their slurry. And I think they're running that kind of length of hose when they do slurry work. So that's cool. Um, there was a, a liquid manure slurry digestate tank, um, which looked quite cool. And w with it was a separator which looked even cooler and what that did is separate out the solid from the liquid i assume the liquid comes out as a um a usable fertilizing product which we will get back to after another time lapse really should have just kept talking but I decided we were going to do music -y time lapses this time you know just just a minute ago I was trying to get five rows with this header you can just about but it's much safer to go for four um, otherwise I think you end up occasionally losing some crop which yeah so I tend to go for four anyway as I was saying the uh, the separator tower it says you get um, the liquid obviously which I'm hoping is a useful fertilizer and also the dry product, which I think it says you can use for fertilizer or animal bedding. That's going to be a really cool change in the game if that's implemented. So I watched, um, I think I've spoken about it before, Saka Dutch Kid, um, who's a um, dairy farmer in Saskatchewan, uh, hence Saska Dutch. Um, and he went visiting a farm in, um, I want to say California, but I'm not sure. It was a huge scale dairy farm in the US. And what they had one of these separators and they were doing that. And um, so they would separate the solid out of the um, manure, the liquid manure that was coming out. And I'm pretty sure they were then drying that to use for bedding. And I think that'd be really cool. But yeah, it's going to be a really good addition to the game, I think. Um, there are some bits about BGA on there that doesn't really say too much about it and my expectation is because it's a paid DLC everything to do with the BGAs will be encrypted so we're probably going to struggle there. Um, if you are a fan of the modular BGA and the generators the uh, my attempt at emulating that behavior without trying to copy too much because obviously when they when the modular BGA got updated it broke that link that you could use those with any BGA. I have something called the BGA network distributor which is um, pending for testing with Giants. 
um, which kind of replicates that behavior. So hopefully this week it will fail its first round of testing, because that's what happens. And then we'll get it back in testing and it won't be too long then for it to be released. Um, so first load of spuds going in the shed. This is going to become our storage shed. Um, slightly annoyingly, it doesn't seem to have leveled the terrain properly under the building and there is a slight gap slightly disappointed by that but oh well not a lot we can do about it at this point because once you've placed a building you can't landscape under it so anyway um, I'm not sure if there's something up with this building pack because in the next episode I am storing bales in more bales in the other shed and the back doesn't seem to have a collision which is really weird I am surprised that stuff Lance has done for buildings doesn't have glue so yeah that was interesting, I thought, and slightly frustrating. Oh well. Um, trying to create a nice big headland on each end because this uh, harvester turns like a battleship. So, yeah, if you use it, you will know that it is awful to turn, but it's so much better than the little pool behinds, I find. Um, I mentioned to Paul, Alien Paul, that I use this, and he kind of laughed at me because. Uh, I think it's a very old mod that people just keep converting, but I don't care. I like it. It's cool. It's unusual. You don't see it very used very often, so. Um, and I, we're just really not a fan of the small pool behind harvesters, even though we've got the Brimmer pack now. And I think the, uh, the big harvesters, A, are the wrong era for what we're doing on here, and B, are too big for what we're doing on here. So, yeah. We're using this because I like it. That's just how it is. And uh, yeah, we're getting cut in now and uh, again, trying to open the field up so that we've got room to turn this thing because it's so ungainly. Um, what I'm planning to do is, so the rest of September, which is most of the next video and some afterwards because I need to do some testing. Um, we're going to be doing contracting. So we've got, there's, some, there's a lot of contracts on this map and uh, going to be doing some hay contracting next time. And then after that, I'm going to be doing some more contracts to test out the different scales of setups that I've got. Uh, that's going to bring us in a bit of cash, which is kind of cool. Um, and did take me most of Sunday to get through those contracts. So I think I earned the cash that we're going to get. And you'll see that in the next video. Um, then we, um, hopefully, the sugar beets will be ready to harvest in October. And get those harvested and then both of these feeds fields need plowing and replanting with grains they have an issue there my plowing contracting setup for small fields uses the fear that we have with the base game plow that i tried i still had issues with it skipping when it was plowing um so yeah i'm not sure what to do there we might have to lease in another tractor to do the plowing which is maybe not the end of the world because say we do earn a bit of cash doing the contract so maybe yep yeah, yeah maybe we get a contractor in to plow the fields um while we're planting maybe we do that you know maybe we get the course plate to uh to, to do the contract plowing of the fields um it's going to cost us a bit to lease all the kit but maybe that's the way to go um might lease us a john deere 4755 or Traction King, one or the other. Um, see what what is reasonable price-wise and able to pull a decent-sized plow because we're going to have to do both of these fields, which is going to take a little while. Uh, we've got the the John Deere seeder still, so uh, that make that pretty easy. And I think now we're going to jump into another time lapse to get some more of this done.
load of spuds in the shed and we're pretty much done with the uh, harvest on here you will have caught a couple of glimpses of the new background that Cavalier has put into the map which is really cool um, so I did mention that the patron series is coming back um, so that's on furling and that is for those guys on patron that are on the five pounds or above tier there was a weekly exclusive video which kind of got paused whilst the laptop was being repaired but I have found I can actually run that safe and that is linked to a problem that I have had over the weekend. Um, I found that I suddenly lost massive amounts of FPS. I was down at 20 FPS and it was just unplayable. Um, I know some people play with 20 FPS. I could not cope with it. So I uh, spent, I asked on Discord. No one seemed to have particularly any similar experiences. So I started playing with graphic settings. Didn't achieve much with small tweaks. I ended up basically dialing the game back to the low settings that fixed everything um actually you know i did the whole taking all the mods out all that kind of thing base game map still having issues so dialed the graphic settings back to low um it worked went up to medium it worked went up to high it worked um, normally i play on somewhere between high and very high and what i've done now is left it on high that is not this video that is the next video um but in doing that i found that i can run the throwing up save so that's coming back probably towards the end of this week for the folks on Patreon. Um, yeah, which is kind of cool, but it was very frustrating with the graphics issue that just randomly appeared. And uh, I think that's just the fact that I'm generally maxing out the, uh, the 1060 that's in this laptop. Um, but, you know, still having fun playing Farm Sim. It's, uh, yeah, I spent an insane amount of hours on Noon Friday afternoon evening and saturday building the uh the custom contracting setups that i'm really quite pleased with um i really like doing contracts but i didn't want to do contracts on here where suddenly i jump forwards to you know an x9 to do the harvesting and that kind of thing and so most of it is all pretty small still i think the biggest thing i've got is a nine meter cedar which is the case of nine meter planter which is the case planter that i used on our competitive multiplayer um seeding wise i've got the john deere pool behind seeders that i have on here and um, so for big fields you get two uh, there's the same with big harvesting contracts you get two smaller old combines and um, i did try to use the the new holland i used on here for harvesting but i could not get that to load into the contracting setups so went for the class set um that released a little while ago and yeah it works really nicely so i have tested the 
uh, smaller and larger haymaking setups. I have tested both plowing setups that I've put in and I have tested one of the harvesting setups that I've put in. And that's just based on the contracts that are available. Um, and as we go through, I'll show you some of those. Um, like I say, if I do a video on it, I'll try and show you them all. Um, got the little Massey Ferguson self-propelled sprayer that was released a little while ago for the spraying contracts and fertilizing contracts. So fertilizing contracts, I've done a liquid and a solid setup. So yeah, that's that. I'm, I'm really quite pleased with it and I'm really looking forward to making use of it. And uh, so far, there seems to be a lot of contracts on here. I've got so many fields and you can, actually you can see a nice shot of this is the in development new background. So the I think the next version of the map I switched to an even newer version which is a lot more populated in. Um, and I did wonder if some of the issue was all of the trees, but actually it's not. It was just something from my graphic settings. Um, even my old laptop seems to handle all of the trees just fine. Um, because as part of my testing, I went through and I deleted all these wonderful trees that Cavalier has put in and actually it didn't help. Well, it sort of helped, but not enough. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, in a video towards the end of the week, we can get some cows now. Um, so, we've got the potatoes harvested, which is cool. Just going to sit those in the shed for now. And I'm going to stick this in the shed for when we're ready to do the beets. We should probably have got the other header off the trailer. This is kind of what I'm using as the equipment shed. I'm not sure how much we'll actually be able to fit in here, but for now we can fit most of it in. See the seed doesn't go through the door, but it's leased. So I'm only going to keep that for another day and then we can return it because we'll have all of our fields seeded. Um, I am maybe wondering if we'll end up doing some corn silage on here as well. I'm not sure. We'll see how it goes, but for for next phase these two fields are going to be grain fields probably barley and oats i think uh, and then yeah we've got the grass that's growing and actually that might be harvestable in october i can't remember if it's going to get another growth state or not um which is bad because i made the geo that's on here bar one um, so one more trailer to tip in the shed and then we'll have a look at how much we've got i'm pretty pleased with it the uh, the yield map and precision farming looked okay considering these are inherited fields you know and uh yeah I no no glimpses of the setup yet because i hadn't done it when i made this video um but yeah just scrolling through the contracts that are available there so we've got some harvesting contracts and some baling contracts so I was pondering doing a, a root crop harvesting contract given that we've got all of the kit we could uh, just make use of what we have but I decided not to as I was making this video and that pushed me into the whole custom contracting setup. Pretty sure it was just after I recorded this video that I, uh, I sat and did all of that. Yeah. It's one of those, it's what I call fun straighting. Um, it was a lot of fun but it was also very frustrating. The XML is very sensitive, and also it seems sensitive to which mods you use. Um, so let's just have a quick look at the yield we got off of this field. We are looking at 99,000 litres. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that, yeah. And um, so I found that certain mods just didn't want to load into better contracts. I don't know what's causing it. Didn't look into the detail, but it would just mash the game completely. Um, so basically you had to go, I had to go through adding one setup at a time, slowly adding them in, making sure the game still loaded, making sure the contracts all looked okay, and then on to the next one. That was frustrating, but kind of cool and kind of fun. And I'm really looking forward to taking advantage of having those contracting setups. So yeah, it's fun straighting. Um, I think it's probably just how my brain works. You know, I love playing with the, the level of code that I can code. I, I, you know, I'm not a coder, I'm not, you know, someone who's writing script mods but playing around in xml i really enjoy and uh it, it became a challenge i was going to just do the um, so on here i have baiting contracts harvesting contracts and plowing contracts and i was just going to do those and i started doing those and i just went further and further and further so yeah um although i am parking up i am quickly going to do a little bit more um because in fact i'm not i'm going to call it a day Thanks for watching, folks. Like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. 
I'll catch you next time and we will close up for now. Bye.